What's cool now, but probably won't be in 5 years. Instagram is going to be an online shopping mall. Far removed from the cool microblogging site it used to be. Galaxy print is probably going to go the way of the bowling alley carpet patterns we used to wear on our clothes in the 90s. It'll come back ironically in 10 years. Edit. Alright guys I get it. It's been out of style for a while. What you guys don't seem to agree on was when it went out. Dina is and Khaleesi as girls names. Probably most popular YouTubers as of now. Brazilian butt lifts. I feel like it will not age well. A lot of plastic surgeries collapse over time or have complications as it degrades. Edited. Life hacks. Since they have taken over YouTube. It just will be bland after amount of time because a lot of it is just BS and many just don't work now. Many I've seen so many stupid harmful things they are doing like oh put your tin foil in a ball and pee at it in a microwave to make a smoth ball. Yay like that crap. Hopefully Pokemon cards. So I can finally afford to buy them again. Current plastic surgery trends to meet the current IG standards. I fear for a lot of people who have had BBLs and facial surgery that the look will become outdated and permanently associated with late 2010s and early 2020s. Kind of how like there are plastic surgery trends associated with the 90s 2000s. The bowl cut. For some reason it came back in South Houston. Looks ridiculous. Fake vents in cars. If they were ever cool in the first place. Stupid vids on it. YouTube prank videos. Well some YouTube videos in general. Corporations trying to be weird and relatable on Twitter. Our Twitter. Probably not going to happen. But I really wish influencers won't be cool anymore. Humongous butt injections. A lot of the stuff I see people doing on TikTok seems like the kind of thing you'd be embarrassed about in a few years. My toddler willingly giving me kisses. Father on 13 and 11 why? Oh. Boys here. If frequent physical affection is a normal part of your dynamic now. That hopefully won't change too much. In front of their friends my existence is a horrifying embarrassment. At home I get hug attacks all the time. Lip injections and butt implants. They look cartoonish. Edit. Was not expecting this kind of response. RIP inbox. Hopefully the stupid hacks that people are coming up with. That's not a hack. Stfu. I putting her images in everywhere oh especially I if you're in one brand are trying out to do a oh buddy I a marketing our registered sign. Teenage boys getting the perm undercut combo. Broccoli boy cut. Subscribing to multiple streaming platforms. Isn't that why cable doesn't exist anymore? Edit. Yes. I know it works out cheaper now. In 2024. Computers. Tablets and phones will be part of the broadcast license fees that we will have to pay in Ireland. So. That will cost me an extra A160 plus subscription to platforms. The beer in my fridge. 5 day work week. That's never been cool. Overly processed Instagram photos. Especially in the context of makeup and skin care. The Kardashians. We said that 10 years ago as well. Gigantic drawn on eyebrows. Clothes of any kind reject humanity return to monk. Alexa. Self-diagnosed mental illnesses I hope. Pock registered sign Mongo. Kidding. It's going to life forever until I catch them all. Non-fungible tokens. Tom Brady M. Fair gotta get too old eventually or run out of fingers for them Super Bowl rings. Noodle head haircuts. NFTs. RTX 3080. Big fake bums. 
saying like NGL your game be like Loki on point you all are hits different. Hardcore feminism. Twitter. Oh god. The ice cube I dropped under the couch. It's all good man. Panting brick houses white. Cod cold war. Is there a secret war between fish I'm unaware of? For Americans. Glaciers. It is estimated that Earth is losing roughly 1. 2 trillion tons of ice per year. Throughout the 1990s. Ice loss was about 760 billion tons per year. The obsession of having RGB led everywhere and on everything. Sliding barn doors as interior doors. Hopefully those excessively filtered insta hoes with fake lips. Breasts. And asses. EVs. In 5 years. It'll just be a commonplace thing. It won't be every car on the road. Or every purchase. But already the shock of oh look it's a Tesla is fading out. Hopefully. Cancel culture. Conspiracy theories about COVID-19. Hopefully cancel culture. Hopefully cancel culture. Those stupid poppet toys. In the UK, incessant advertising for gambling. It is disgusting to me that almost half of adverts on TV and online are for this putrid activity. It should be seen in the same way as smoking or drinking and not normalized. Imagine having an addiction to something and seeing it everywhere you go. Not cool at all. Hopefully those in charge will pull their heads out their asses and change this as I am in sick of it. Mental illness. At school. People think having depression or anxiety is cool and aesthetic. They also move my stuff. Egg pens. And then say they have OCD. They have absolutely no knowledge of what these words even mean. It's very strange. Side note. Someone pointed out it's self-diagnosis BTW. We aren't really educated about this stuff at school. So I'm not really sure where to put it in the sentence. People saying Twitter. Facebook. Instagram. But don't forget this hell site. Politics on the internet. Cancel culture. Fortnite. Nothing personal against it. Just think that 5 years is a good time span for it to wither down considerably. Enormous eyeglasses. I sincerely hope you are wrong. As someone who can't wear contacts. The trend of larger glasses is amazing. Because being able to actually see is pretty handy. Those skinny frames of yesteryear gave such a narrow field of vision. My enormous frames hide my enormously thick lenses just a little bit. Even if the trend dies. I'm gonna keep on rocking them. Being a bad bitch. Jeans that look like Wolverine and Edward Sissorhans had a quickie on M. I'm old enough to remember these coming in and out of fashion several times already. Sorry to inform you that you're probably stuck with other people wearing professionally distressed clothing in the future. People posting pictures of a PS5 they just bought and expecting the rest of us to care. Clickbaiting on YouTube. I see in the future the current CEO getting fired. And a good person who can manage clickbait. Huge fake eyelashes. GTA V. Hopefully by that point we'll actually have GTA 6. Edit. Jesus Christ thank you for all the awards and likes. I wasn't expecting this sort of response. Facebook. Kids don't use that. Because it sucks. Millennials are leaving in droves. Cancel culture. Things being. It is what it is. People have been saying that for more than a decade. The revival of the mullet. Sagging. Having your pants pulled down to thigh level. I don't know why PPL do it. It just looks goofy. People have been sagging for at least 30 years. I don't think it's going to go away. This post. Instagram. I saw a YouTube video from 2010 stroke 11 the other day and the host mentioned checking their Instagram. The eyebrow slits. 
Just why? The word Loki. I doubt it. It's been here for 15 plus years and still going strong. I believe the phrase you are looking for is on fleek. Loki has been around the block and is still here. Though. Let's be honest. On fleek is already a pretty dead phrase. Filling wooden furniture with translucent green or blue colored resin. Saying bet. Bet. Vaping. Wearing masks? Well. Assuming the next big pandemic hasn't rolled around by then. NFTs. Having the covered vaccine. Eventually it'll be as commonplace as a flu vaccine. I'd rather it was as popular as the polio vaccine so it can just hang die already. That stupid yee yee ass haircut that all the teenage boys are rocking. The one with the short sides and mop top rats nest on top. Pretty much every clothing style that's back in right now. Acid wash jeans. Mom jeans. High waisted rolled jeans the whole lot. Most of us thought it looked bad then. Time didn't do it justice. Might take more than 5 years but the regret and merciless teasing by your kids or friends in the future will lead to lots of regret lol. My fridge. Compressor is dying. Fan makes all kinds of crazy noise. Temp has risen to 50 degrees. Freezer only freezes on Tuesday. Probably not worth repair. Each time I think it's done. Suddenly the ice maker starts working the fan gets quiet. And milk doesn't spoil in a day. Still works as an ice box. So. Hacking security skills. Peoples that have hacking skills are currently seen like brilliant minds and they are. And the public does not mind when peoples does that for knowledge or if the target are the big corporations. The problem is the number of attacks that target health structures like hospitals. Or people identities. People's money. Non-profit foundations. ETC. Are increasing exponentially and soon everyone will consider anyone with security knowledge potentially harmful and a lot of people will be suspicious about this skills. Having lots of random tattoos. I work in a high school and I hear seniors with tattoos already saying that they wish they hadn't convinced their parents to let them do it. Maybe not 5 years. But soon. This trend will fade, just like the tattoos. Incest PRN hopefully. Designer face masks. Blue cabinets and gold hardware. Showing off you smoke and drink. I'm a teenager and all my peers idolize people who smoke and do drugs. Seriously it ain't cool and it ruined your body from the inside. This has been cool for centuries. Face masks. I wouldn't say they are cool. They are necessary. And it's definitely not cool to not wear one when you're supposed to. Me. To my child. Barn doors in the house. Saying that slaps regarding a good song. Please let it be TikTok. Everything supreme. The tie print text hoodies. The overpriced hats and $100 shirts. Being I'm stupid seems to be pretty popular right now. I don't expect that to change. Wearing an onion on your belt. That brand of Twitter users that overuses scholarly language to make really simple and vague statements IIA. The current wave of hip hop, mumble if you wanna call it that, below average to no bars at all and bars aren't everything but there's something in the constant biting, copycat, of flows. Beat styles. Cadences and autotune. You can tell these dudes are making no effort and it's sad. Plus the fans are in high school and below so they'll grow out of it eventually. Facebook. Skype. TikTok. Fortnite. Google Hangouts. Tumblr. Beams. Smartphone without charger in the box. RTLS from their front desk. Bitcoin. Our funny. Our next and level. Bitcoin is being adopted and incorporated by some major companies. Like Microsoft. Funko Pops. They're the beanie babies of the 20s. Many things lose their appeal in time. MySpace. Vine. AOL. 
Juicy Couture Velour Tracksuits. TRL, although I do miss TRL. I miss the early 2000s but hey. We're living in different times and what's popular today may be forgotten in a few years. I feel like TikTok will end the same way that Vine did. Influencers. Huge lips, excess filler. Recording everything you do to post to social media for likes. Those peloton bikes. Among us. It already is almost dead. Lip fears. Netflix. Given that the content keeps merely developing and other providers creating their own platforms. Already feel often bored zapping through the program. Hopefully political correctness. Cancel culture. I hope. In Facebook. Even though Facebook isn't necessarily cool I think it will be super duper uncool in 5 years. TikTok. Like Vine and Musical.ly. It's gonna die off quick. I thought TikTok is Musical.ly. Just with a different name. Vine only died off because the creators killed it. Hopefully bio pronouns. Reddit believes communism is cool so I hope that trends dies down before we become a communist country. Hopefully Facebook. A Facebook. My space was hilarious. Hey here are 8 people I like better than you. Enjoy this Hawthorne Heights song on repeat. Colored bangs. And here I am. Painting everything grey. I mean. Why was it ever cool? Particularly in Britain. Where it's grey enough. The two poles. Men wearing women's clothing. It'll probably just be considered a clothing choice instead of a statement about gender roles and personally I can't wait for that to happen. Colon. Lip fears. TikTok. The ice at the edge of Antarctica. These big ass sneakers people are wearing. Some parts of the world. Global warming is catching on. People. Covid. NFTs. Weather. Wokeability and everything needing to be PC. Get over it. Tattoos. Next generation will hate them. And then their kids will find them cool again. The next generation loves them. Hopefully those fake pointy acrylic nails. The only thing I like about this trend is that it's something women do 100% for themselves. I know this for certain because every man I have ever met thinks they are disgusting. Mumble rap. The latest iPhone. Supreme. Zoom calls. I don't wanna go back to the office. But I can't take 5 more years of these. Vaping. I hope. Edit. My rationale here was coming from the perspective of seeing kids in middle school and high school vaping when these kids wouldn't be smoking cigarettes otherwise. Cigarettes were incredibly uncommon when I was in school whereas now vaping among that age group is much more common. Bow dazzling your testicles. Identity politics and intersectionality. Mom games. This is the answer I came to say. I just... Don't get it. My 12 year old loves them though. She is in that insecure phase in her life. Changing body etc. But she puts on her mom jeans and she is a whole new person. She even takes off the XXL sweater and will wear a t-shirt around. Her confidence soars in the mom jeans. I don't understand it but it's awesome to see her feel so good. The British monarchy. Hot take but this gender fluid stuff and all that. I respect it and it's a personal choice but it feels like a fad. I'm sure some people seriously mean it and respect to them but 90% of the folks I see raving on about it seem to just be trying to grab attention from the media and free sympathy from others. Not to mention the amount of horrible it has caused with people abusing it to get others thrown out of colleges. Ruining lives and publicly shaming people just for saying a pronoun wrong unintentionally. It's not gonna stick around. 
People will get tired of putting up with the extremists pushing it and shut them up with a slap of reality or it will become normalized which means you don't get any special treatment and most pretenders will stop saying they're it. Again no offense to anyone. I would say Minecraft but trying to kill that is like trying to invade Russia in winter. Because it keeps evolving and appeals to the kid in each of us. These stupid TikTok videos. Meanwhile the front page of Reddit. TikTok videos. Half the fashion trends going on right now. I just see all these celebrities with super long nails. Giant sunglasses. And outfits with really weird patterns. Fabrics. And cutouts. And I know that one day we will look back on them and say how did anyone ever think that looked good? Dot. And then those trends will be back in style in 2040. Mark my words. We look back on the 2000s and say wow. Low rise jeans. Gross. But they're on their way back into style. Just you wait. Rule of 20. Soon everyone will have their thongs peeking out of their pants again. I promise you. Being a Nazi. Meme stocks. They will always be a thing. Just different meme stocks. Farmhouse style home renovations and decor painted brick grey white color themes. The fact you voted for Biden. Blindly following and looking to a politicians for guidance. Jake Paul. Never was cool. Masks. Probably. Hopefully. Joe Biden. Flip a coin if he's still alive in 2026. Greenland. Supporting BLM. Smoking hopefully. The rare plant frenzy that's blown up in the last year. I guarantee you in 5 years. The people who went crazy paying over $500 for a plant cutting to have some unattainable item. We'll end up selling them or giving them away or throwing them away when the trend is over. The North Pole. Faking mental illnesses for clout. Pouting in pictures. Vaping. My ex. The snow's starting to melt and she'll be thawing soon.